I think an entrepreneur by definition has, uh, has an innate sense of hope, right? They're extremely hopeful that their idea is the next great thing and they're going to do something amazing with it. Michal Baldwin, CEO of Graphically, and Graphically started in 2009. Uh, basically, uh, the concept was that it was a, a community around comic books and sort of the iTunes for comics. I think what sets us apart is that we see ourselves as part of the community and that our job is to create a world where the community is made better, whether that generates rev revenue directly for us or not. I don't think that for us the end game is selling a comic book. I think the end game for us is building um, a comic book enthusiast. With startups early on, the personality of the founders is almost more important than the feature set of the application because they're the ones that actually are the face the, of the organization and, and in many ways are the people that actually participate within the community. What's the biggest characteristic of an entrepreneur? Balls, right? And the ability to get them kicked and, uh, and be able to, to continue on, right? So I think, I think for, for a startup person, the best, the, you know, the, the most important thing for an entrepreneur is singular focus with, a, with a, an ability to learn um, and an understanding that you're going to get beat up along the way, but that the process is just a process. So the failures you feel along the way are fine. It's always about the end, right? And the end is about winning. Perfect idea is useless without a team that can really execute against it. So having an entrepreneur, a leader, that can really get a team going in the right direction with an imperfect idea will always receive funding over something that is perfect with a lousy team. And, and funding by me means social funding, right? Not necessarily just money. Uh, it means, you know, will this idea go anywhere? I had a, a coworker who used to always talk about getting out in front of your ski tips. You know, if you're too far forward, then you, you know, crash and burn. And I think for young entrepreneurs, they have a tendency to do that, right? Lean too far forward. Um, and, it, and I think over time, you start to learn where those spots are, right? Like how to, how to not fail, but turn it into sort of a process. For most entrepreneurs, you finally understand how to be successful. The question is, can you be successful? And if you can't be successful, then it may be time to bail out, or you may not be the person that can make the success. There's nothing wrong with bringing in somebody else to help you get there. The biggest mistakes that I've made with Graphically, not being decisive enough early, uh, sort of believing that I could figure out how to fix everything. Um, so I think that's part of it. Second of all, I think, um, making my health secondary. It's another mistake that entrepreneurs do, right? Working 24 hours a day, trying to get things done and not realizing that sleep is a really important thing. You know, you're more effective if you get some decent sleep. And so I think that, that one is, is I would focus on my health a little bit better um, early on. And second of all, I would you know, make decisions faster and more emphatically uh, around things that really mattered for the business.